Okay, this is just a quick video talking about how you can publish your own resource in the OER Commons. There's a lot you can do in the OER Commons and a lot of playing around you're welcome to do in there um, as you get more familiar and comfortable with it. But I just want a basic um, kind of overview of how to put a resource into the OER Commons. So once you are registered and logged in, you're going to want to go to this Create button at the top. And there's different ways to create resources. Um, this lesson builder would be if you have an entire lesson to upload. So instruction and also maybe a quiz or an assessment or writing ass assignment, that would be an entire lesson. But for this class, most of you are just going to be adding one resource, the one resource you created for the OER contest. So let's just go to this resource builder and start authoring. And I'm just going to show you some of the basics and then of course again you can play around with it with these tools, belt bullets, you can change text style, header, and color and add math symbols and everything like that. But we're just going to do the basics. So the number one thing you need is a title. Um, so if you did a Tale of Two Cities resource, you could um, give it a title that describes what the resource is. So is it for chapter one, book one, or whatever? Give it a clear title. Then just in the box here, you're going to type in a description of your resource. So um, what is it? What could it be used for? How will it be helpful? Just a short description and then you're going to put your resource in. If your resource is a video, um, remember I asked you to use YouTube is a great way or Vimeo or any sort of video link. Um, you're going to want to do this insert media. That also works well for images or audio as well. Um, so in that case, for instance, here's a Vimeo video I've created. I'm just going to control copy the link and paste it right in and click next. Oh, it's saying it's invalid. Hold on. Let me get that again. OK, so then submit. And voila, I have a description and I have my resource and I'm ready to go on to the next step. There is this import from Google Docs feature and a lot of you did, uh, if you did a Google Doc or a Google Slides presentation, that would seem like a logical thing to use, but I have not had good luck with this. So if you are going to want to include, for instance, a, presenta a Google presentation, the way I would do that is just with a hyperlink. So just describe your presentation. I'm going to go grab the link to my Google Slides presentation, highlight the word presentation, and then just go to this link here and then uh, erase what is written in there uh, for the website or email and paste in your Google Slides and save. That way when someone comes to this resource they just click here. It's not working because we're in the editing mode but they will just click on you'll see this is a hyperlink and it will open in a new window your Google Doc or your Google Slides presentation. So if any of the media that you're trying to insert here doesn't work then you can just do it this way with a hyperlink. So give it a title, highlight, go to this link icon and paste in the link and that way they can link to your resource later. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go to describe. So either here or here, go to the next step. And this is where you're going to describe it as best you can so that other people looking and searching in the OER Commons can find your resource if it's helpful to them. So by abstract, that means a short summary, maybe a short paragraph long that describes your resource. Then you, 
these boxes need to be filled in or else you won't be able to submit it. Just, so just do your best. Give it a subject, probably English language arts. Who are the users? Is it students, teachers? Let's say probably students, educational use. Um, most likely it's for curriculum or instruction. Educational levels, we're in high school, grades. You know, you're just doing your best here. Let's say it's 12th grade, language, English, material type. Um, is it, let's see, a mixed media, let's see, a lesson plan, where are we, what would it be? Notes maybe? I don't know, whatever, whatever you want, you can add a few different things. Is it a reading? Is it, it doesn't have a video, let's see. Oh, here we go, under mixed media. It could be interactive. Okay, so just add a few things under material type, learning goals. Um, you can add that in. So understanding Tale of Two Cities. Keywords, you're going to put just some keywords for searching later. So Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities, maybe um, presentations, things like that. Educational standards, I would just leave this blank. I don't think they're going to require that we will see because I'm just trying this out. So I would say not, just leave this educational standards blank since you're not a teacher, you're a student. And then click next step. And this is where you'll choose the license because this is licensed material. You're going to now own this. So you're licensing your own resource. So are you going to allow others to modify it? Yes or no. Or you can say, yeah, other people can change it as long as they share it with others. And that's what I usually choose, but you can choose what you want. Do you want people to use this for commercial use? Most likely they won't, but, and then I usually leave it as international and then go to publish. That's your last step. And that was it. I just published a resource and um, wait a few minutes. You'll receive an email that will say if your resource has been approved or not. And then once you receive that email, I think I have one and I'm going to show you. Here we go. Oops. Then it will take me to my resource. And then you're going to just copy that resource link at the top and email it to me, your teacher, so that I know that I can now that I can go look at it and I can link it to the other resources that other students have done in the OER Commons. And that's kind of longer than I wanted to spend, but hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm really excited that you're getting involved in the publishing process.